What's going on guys, Orzu here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new premium footies, Pato Card, two or a few, and he is looking really good. He's got 96 pace, with 95 dribbling, 93 shooting, 88 passing, and 89 physicals. He's a 5 foot 9 player with high low work rates, 5 star skill moves, and a 4 star weak foot. The chem style I've decided to go for is the Hawk chem style, where you could also go for the Marksman chem style or the basic chem style. Those two are also very good. The reason though I feel like the Hawk chem style is the way to go is because you're maxing out his pace while also increasing his shooting stats while also increasing his physicals as well. I do feel like the Hawk chem style is just simply amazing on this card but if I do feel like he doesn't feel anything amazing in game I am gonna go ahead and switch him to a marksman chem style and deal with his base pace which will be a little bit annoying especially this late in the FIFA like the base pace is good but obviously 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed is way way better right it's just if he doesn't feel good we're gonna have to go for the marksman the pace as i said maxed out it's beautiful shooting ability looks incredible as well so many 99s in there and he also has got the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait as well the passing ability looks very good for a striker the dribbling ability as i said it looks good and hopefully he will feel good in game but if he doesn't i will switch him to a marksman chem style and the physicals I mean, the physicals are insane, right? Like 99 jumping, 97 heading accuracy is insane to have on a 5 foot 9 player. Has he got a power header trait? He doesn't. I thought maybe he did for a second. He also has got 94 stamina with 95 strength and 87 aggression. Those kind of physical stats is something you don't see on a player that is 5 foot 9 very often. Now, the links, he plays in the MLS, so the links aren't like insane, but. He does get a strong link with a player like Cunha. He does get weak links to uh, players like Diaz. He does get a strong link to Rafinha. So the links on horrendous. And he obviously gets like a weak link with everyone that is, you know, Brazilian. So yeah, the links on horrendous. It's just him playing in the MLS. It obviously, is a little bit awkward to work with, let's say. Now the positions. I will be playing Pato in one position and one position only. And it will be that striker position in a 3-5-2 formation. So let's get into the games and let's see how good Footy's Pato is going to be. Can I get a driven pass into him there? There you go. What a touch as well. Accelerate around the corner. Ball roll scoop. Shot cancel the keeper. Referee. It has to be a penalty. That dribbling just to get around the corner there was very nice. That scoop turn was perfect as well. Let's see what we can do. 96 penalties. 99 shot power. You best believe we're going to smack it top bins. Come on. I need to green time it or yellow time it. I've greened and yeah, he doesn't even dive the right way. You're making that run, Rodrigo. There you go. That's a good through ball as well. Now I need a passing option. I need to slow it down. Pato's came short. Pato, give me that option. There you go. Just be patient here. Nice reverse elastico. I'm going to go across goal. Yeah, it's a beautiful finish. He's paused the game. And I think we all know what's going to happen. That reverse elastico came off really quickly with him. Let's go for a quick one-two. See if I can just get him in behind. There you go, Pato. Keep it going. Let's go for a ball roll. A few step overs. Get in front of the player. Nah, shapeshifter Carl Walker does simply incredible to push him off the ball. He's got strength, but, you know, when you're up against Carl Walker, shapeshifter Carl Walker, he is definitely going to get bodied out of the way. He's right there on the edge of the box. Go for a quick scoop. He's going to think I'm going to go. Okay. Can we get it? Oh my god, we green timed it. I was trying to like work it in the middle there because he was just covering that outside. So I knew if I can get it into the inside, I can have a decent shot. We green timed it as well on that weaker foot and it still went straight down the middle. Let's see what we can do here. Is he inside the box? He isn't. He's outside the box. Okay. And uh, I spoke a little bit too long and it auto took it. Ronaldo make that run. There you go. We're through. Can I give it a cross into Pato? I can. I do like how Pato was so committed there to get in front of the defender to give me that passing option. That was really good from him. I'm just going to chip it over him. There you go, Pato. Shield him off. That's perfect. Using that strength to just shield off the player there. Let's go for it. On the weaker foot, I mistimed it. I just believed in uh, his shooting ability there. It wasn't a bad shot. You have to keep in mind that was on that four-star weak foot as well. I wasn't really expecting that to go in, but... I was maybe expecting a little bit of a better shot, but he did well to hold off that player. I'm just going to give this line into him. Let's see if we can go for a quick one too, just to get him in behind. That was actually meant for Diaz, but it doesn't matter. We'll roll, scoop it. What is he going to do? Is he going to commit towards us? He does, but we're around him. No way. Sometimes that animation is honestly so good, but then there's other times that it's just like, it's so bad. And how... Please say, no, that's not even a corner. I tried to shot cancel and like quickly just 
just get around the corner there. I mean, we did well to get into the position, right? We beat like two or three players. Trying to find someone in the middle here. There you go, Pato. He's made a bit of movement towards that near post. We turn the player. The shot on the left foot just goes wide. That's when you need that five-star weak foot. A five-star weak foot in that situation would have been so much better. I feel like if it was a five-star weak foot, it would have gone in. I definitely do like his movement in the striker position. Like, he isn't super aggressive. There's a lot of times that he is coming short. But if he does see a gap wide open, he does make a run in behind. And I am not sure what just happened there. I thought it was going to be another penalty. I'm going to give that into Mane before I end up losing that ball of Cancelo. I see Pato trying to be a bit aggressive here. Go down the line. He should give me a passing option there. There you go. Beautiful reverse Elastico. Trying to take my time here. Seeing what I can do. Maybe get round into the middle there. Nah, he defended that really well. I don't think I saw an option in the middle. I don't think anyone gave me a passing option. Look at Pato once again. Just waiting for the ball. Oh, green time. No, he used his strength there, didn't he? I want to see if I can maybe create an angle for a finesse shot because my opponent has got so many players behind the ball. So let's go ahead and give this to Cunha. Cool Pato short. Reverse Alasco that. Oh yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with my opponent right now, but... He just decided to walk away. It was like he was lagging for a second. We will take it though. What a finesse shot. I'm going to go for a long pass here. Let's go for a through ball. How good is it going to be? All right. I aimed that to the right mid. That was wide open and it went to the goalkeeper. Yeah, try to keep it as simple as possible with him when it comes down to uh, those long passes. Like the passing on this card. I mean, short passing is good. Long passing on the other hand. Yeah, you guys saw it. That's a good run down the line from Diaz, but I'm trying to see if I can get it into the inside early. There you go. Accelerate into the space. He thought I was going to go for that cutback. I'm going to go for it. I was like, why not? I've scored at this angle towards that near post. Let's give it a go on Pato's weaker foot. I green timed there as well. There was a ridiculous amount of power behind that. It's just, yeah, the accuracy was off. It went straight down the middle. On the other side, let's give it a go, Pato. Hey, that's decent. That is decent. Go on, keep it going. Give it back to him. Go on, please. The shot power. The shot power was ridiculous on that. That's a good run down the line. And that's a good pass as well. Go on, Pato. Go on. Against Virgil van Dijk. Virgil van Dijk is eventually going to catch up through the middle. Can I get it? No way. The dribbling there again, though, was solid. It's just I thought the, keep, like, the keeper was going to commit there. But he just, he just stood his ground. He didn't come out at all. Let's see if we can create another finesse angle. Let's go for it. Green times. Go on, Pato. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like the power, the accuracy is just simply insane. We created, he created the angle nicely there just by accelerating into the space as well. It's just an insane shot, isn't it? Pato, be aggressive there. There you go. Nice pass from Diaz. I'm going to go for it. Chip. Green times. I was asking for a little bit too much, right? On the volley as well. Like it wasn't on the ground. I'm going to just chip it over. There you go, Pato. Hold him off. Great strength. Ref. How? How is that not a pen? What? Like, Pato's done so well there to hold Fernandinho off, and it's a clear foul. Get around him, Cunha. Keep it going. There you go. That's perfect. Extra pass in the middle. Quick scoop turn to get round him. Not the greatest of touches, I must admit. Good dribbling, though. Ball roll. Scoop. Ref. No, if he goes onto the ground, it's a penalty. That touch just kind of made us go a little bit wider than what we wanted to and it definitely did slow down the attack a little bit like you can definitely notice his dribbling ability oh he's in the middle hold on a second go on pato no i aimed it wrong you can definitely tell his dribbling ability is good but it's not like neymar you know it's not Vinny. it's not rodrigo level that's a good run for mane and that's such a good pass back stick let's go for it go on it's in i'm not sure if that's gonna count as an own goal though or his goal let's quickly see it's his goal. Perfect. Using that heading ability, back stick there, that jumping ability, obviously really nice as well. I need someone to make a run in that gap there. There you go, Pato. Quick fake shot. Accelerate into the space. Ball roll around the keeper. Go on. No way. No shot. Please. Okay. Yeah, we eventually got it into the back of the net. I just went for two simple flicks there, which is always going to be hard to read because no one really does it in that kind of area. And it's a decent volley. Nothing special. Like, I was definitely expecting a bit more power on the volley, but as long as it goes in, I'm not complaining. Into the middle there to Cunha. Good scoop turn into Pato. Good fake shot. No, I wanted him to take that shot early, but he didn't do it. And look at that. 
that's what I wanted earlier. I remember when I was shooting on his uh, on his weaker foot and I hit it towards the near post and it went straight down the middle. That's that right there is what I was looking for. Like that is a, a ridiculous angle. I don't think anyone should be scoring from that angle. Can I get driven into CR7? I can. I'm gonna pass this across into Kunya, extra pass into Pato. I'll be honest, I thought he was gonna make a run up there. But he made a run down, which I guess wasn't too bad anyway, because the passing option was still there. I still managed to do a few dribbles and we got unfortunate with the block. Hold on a second. That's a good touch. Let's go for it. Yellow timed. Is it still going to go in? It flies in still. This guy's finesse shots. There's something special. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing five games of Pato and we scored nine goals in those five games. And we also came out with a single assist as well. His shooting ability on that stronger foot inside the box and outside the box was amazing. Those finesse shots, they were flying in. The power shots inside the box were incredible as well. The weaker foot though... Mm, not anything amazing I would say like sometimes it was flying in other times it was going straight down the middle and giving the keeper a chance of saving it and that's kind of what you expect of a four-star weak foot sometimes it flies in other times it can even miss the target so yeah the shooting ability was good it's just that weaker foot was a little bit questionable time to time the pace incredible passing ability the short passing was very good and the long passing wasn't I mean it was decent it wasn't like top tier it's not as good as someone like kdb it's not as good as someone like let's say rafinha bellingham the passing isn't that good but it's all right you know like if you see the person wide open on the other side okay give it a go but if he's getting marked don't give it a go the dribbling ability the dribbling ability definitely was nice but it wasn't anything insane as i said to you guys it's not as good as someone like rodrigo it's not as good as someone like neymar Vinny. it's not that good but the dribbling ability definitely is nice to work with especially inside that box like the left stick dribbling is quick now i definitely did notice a few touches that didn't feel amazing let's say like there was a touch when i tried to get around a corner which he took a little bit too far wide and it just kind of delayed the whole attack so if you want to go for the marksman chem style to improve his dribbling ability okay go ahead you know 100 go ahead and do it but just keep in mind you're not getting that pace increase which i feel like is something that is amazing to have in that striker position so for me personally i still feel like the hawk chem style is the way to go it's just his dribbling ability was good but not anything amazing the physicals outrageous love these physicals there were so many situations that i was in that i was getting put under pressure and all i need to do was hold l trigger and it was holding the play off really really well and the jumping ability yeah you guys saw that come into play now the price of the card seventy thousand coins 70k for Pato, it's worth it. 100% is worth it. Even though he comes from the MLS, the links really ain't too bad. Like, he's Brazilian. He gets a link with every single Brazilian player. But then on top of that, right, because of these premium footies cards, you get a strong link with Cunha. If you move him into, like, let's say, a sentiment position for chemistry, you get a strong link with Lodi. You get a strong link with Rafinha. So the links aren't terrible. It's just that, yes, they're not anything like amazing because he plays in the MLS. Now, where does he go in the attackers tier list? He's an amazing card, but he isn't. He is an ST. He's not Ronaldo. He's no team of the season Finney. He's no team of the season Neymar. You know, he's not on that level. But I definitely will say this card deserves to go into the A+. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.